Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. McMahon, and today I would like to read a book called Clever Raccoon. It's written by Jane Thayer and illustrated by Holly Keller. Clever Raccoon title page. Squirrel and Chipmunk lived in the garden, which they shared with some people. And their friend Skunk and Raccoon lived in the woods outside. Squirrel didn't miss a thing that went on. One day he said to Chipmunk, those people are planting corn. Chick Chipmunk told Skunk and Skunk told Raccoon. Raccoon's eyes brightened because he loved corn more than anything else in the world. He marked the date on his calendar and told Mrs. Raccoon. The people planted four rows of corn. We'll have fresh corn on the cob, they said. Their neighbor next door was planting, was planning to plant corn too, even though he knew raccoons love corn. Only one problem, he said, raccoons. We haven't seen a raccoon. The people protested. Wait, said the neighbor. Squirrel preferred peanuts himself. Will raccoon eat the corn? Chipmunk asked nervously. Will you eat the corn? Skunk inquired. Raccoon looked mysterious. Raccoon kept his calendar handy. And at last one night he went and nibbled an ear of corn wasn't quite ripe enough. Something has nibbled our corn, the people exclaimed. Did you nibble, said Skunk suspiciously to Raccoon. Raccoon smiled. What do we do, cried the people. Put up a fence, said their neighbor. I have plan planted my corn and I'm going to put up a fence. These people are putting up a fence, Squirrel told Chipmunk, who told Skunk, who told Raccoon. Raccoon chuckled. The corn grew, the kernels swelled, plump and milky, and the people's mouths watered. Tomorrow, the first row will be ripe. That night, Raccoon consulted his calendar. He climbed the people's fence and ate the whole row. The whole row is gone, the people cried. How can we stop that raccoon? Put a radio in the corn patch at night. That's what I'm going to do. That will scare him away, said the neighbor. What's a radio, Squirrel asked. Dangerous, inquired Chipmunk. Radio, asked Skunk cautiously. Raccoon almost laughed out loud. When the music was turned on, he danced a jig, and soon Squirrel and Chipmunk were waltzing to the music while Skunk tapped his toe. That night, Raccoon didn't go near the corn. The next night, he checked on another corn patch. You were right, the people told their neighbor. Tomorrow, we'll have delicious fresh corn on the cob for dinner. That night, Raccoon and Mrs. Raccoon ate the whole row. You said the radio would keep them away, the people shouted. It did for a while, said the neighbor, just until the corn was perfect. We have two rows left. What do we do now? Set a trap and bait it with peanut butter. Raccoons like peanut butter, said their neighbor. It won't hurt the creature, and you can cart him away. What's a trap? asked Squirrel. Dangerous? asked Chipmunk nervously. A trap? inquired Skunk. Raccoon looked thoughtful. Squirrel was going home at sunset when he smelled peanuts. Peanuts were, to him, what corn was to Raccoon. He traced the smell to a kind of box with a door open. In he pranced, and the moment he nibbled, down dropped the door. Clank! 
squirrel was trapped. When the people found only a chattering squirrel in their trap, they said, pardon us. Squirrel flounced off. They reset the trap. This time, Chipmunk couldn't resist that delicious smell, and he crept in. Clank! We don't want you, cried the people. Chipmunk rushed out to tell his friends about this, his horrible experience. The third row of corn was almost ripe. We've got to catch that raccoon, said the people. And they baited the trap with a huge hunk of peanut butter. But Squirrel and Chipmunk had learned their lesson and Raccoon was checking another corn patch. This time, Skunk sniffed and stepped cautiously inside. Clank! When the people found Skunk in their trap, they got away fast. What do we do? Naturally, their neighbor knew. Speak softly, put a nice fat beetle outside, and raise the door gently. They found a fat, fresh beetle, spoke softly, and gently raised the door. Skunk had had a nap. He was hungry for his beetle breakfast, so he ate it and waddled off. Well, said the people, we've caught everything else. Let's hope tonight will be raccoon night. At least the third row of corn is almost ripe, and he hasn't touched it. They brought out an enormous peanut butter sandwich. My first row is almost ripe, and he hasn't touched it, said their neighbor with great satisfaction before he retired for the night. Squirrel passed a warning to Raccoon. Beware. Next morning, the people stared at their trap. Squirrel, squirrel stared too. The trap door was down. There was no squirrel in the trap, no chipmunk in the trap, no skunk in the trap, no, tra no raccoon in the trap. No peanut butter in the trap. But that wasn't all. The people rushed to the corn patch. Every ear of just ripe corn in the third row had been eaten up. He got the peanut butter and the corn too, moaned the people. How did he get the peanut butter and escape? For once, their neighbor had no answer. When I went in and nibbled, the door clanked down, cried Squirrel. How did he get out, demanded Chipmunk. The people decided to solve the mystery. They would bait the trap and hide. Squirrel was so mystified that he hid too and made Chipmunk come along. They all waited, still as could be. They waited and waited. Maybe he wasn't coming. There was a faint sound. Here he comes. In the moonlight, they made out a bushy figure approaching the trap. Suddenly, a surprise. A second raccoon. One was inside the trap. The people flashed on their light, and two surprised raccoons looked up. Mrs. Raccoon was holding up the trap door with her clever little raccoon hands. Raccoon was coming out, peanut butter in his mouth. Mrs. Raccoon dropped the door, clank! The raccoons ambled off. Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! The people looked at each other then, ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! Whoever thought of two raccoons? They're smarter than we are wiser than that wise guy. Come on, let's pick our last row of coin before it's just right for raccoons. The squirrel chattered at Chipmunk. Why didn't you hold the door? Chipmunk chirped. Why didn't you? Mrs. Raccoon complained. I was looking forward to corn. Raccoon paused in the moonlight to, to consult his calendar. Cheer up, dear, he said. That wise guy's row will be right tomorrow night. Clever raccoon. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time.